earlier this week, the brake light came on, and uh, now it's starting to make a grinding noise, so. The grinding noise is coming from the front. I had the rear brakes done on my most recent inspection. So yeah, let's uh, change the front brakes and rotors. There you can see how worn out that inside brake pad is. Yeah, look at the rotor. That inside's uh, really worn. Alright, it's the next day here. Let's take this for a test drive.
So the brakes seem fine, but now something else is squeaking. I don't know what that is. All right, so I just rewound the footage of the GoPro aimed under the van that I saw something leaking to it looked like. I was kind of thinking that squeaking noise was coming from like the idler pulley, but now I'm wondering if it's the water pump. I'm getting like a strong burning smell. I think it smells like burning coolant. Uh, yeah, look at that. There's something all over the alternator. Is there any coolant left in this thing? It's the next day here and I think I got everything I need to fix this. I bought a new water pump, idler pulley, thermostat, and coolant. As far as I can tell it's a water pump so I think that alone will fix it. Check out all the snow, like as soon as I pulled it up here. I don't know if the camera can see this or not, but it's like really thick. Everything around the water pump seems to be soaked. Alright, I could not get the fan clutch off last night. So I was watching some videos and we're going to try taking the serpentine bolt off and then putting a ratchet strap around that to hold it while you unscrew the fan. So we're going to try that. Two hours later. Well, I can't get this fan clutch off. I don't even think the tools fit it right. I'll be honest, I thought a lot of it leaked out. I did not think that was going to come out that fast. Alright, so this is the new tranny line for the new tranny cooler. And it's bypassing the radiator 
So I need to get this old one back up here because it's just looped around. All right, everything should be disconnected. Holy crap, this is big. Here we go. Plenty of room. Check out how uh, wobbly this fan is. Day three. All right, well, it's the next day here, and I still couldn't get that fan clutch off. But uh, after reading some forums, I found out a lot of 7.3 van owners have this problem. And apparently there's a van specific wrench for it. But if you don't have that wrench like me, another thing you can do is just take the whole water pump off with the fan. Alright, after looking at the new water pump, it looks like there's nine bolts I need to get all the way around. So let's start with the bottom ones and work our way around. Alright, that should be everything, so now I'm just going to take off the ratchet strap and get it to pop out. This jumped back and forth a few times between long and short bolts, so if any of you were doing this, make sure you have the new one sitting out so you can put them in the right places. Check this out. Get that cleaned up. I don't think Advance gave me the right tools for this. They're just like stripping this. Look, see, see how much play that has on there? And then the one they gave me to hold the, the four nuts also feels like, look at that. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna get a new clutch. 
That'll be that's the smartest way to do this because if this breaks a month later, then I got to take the whole water pump out again. So yeah, we're done messing with this. insane. Let's have a closer look at the threads here. The threads seem fine. There's doesn't look like any Loctite or anything was on them. I mean, obviously I was going the right way. It's not like I stripped it out. Crazy. Put the uh, fan clutch in the fan on. Oh, it's protected from freezing. Might be a little heavy on the coolant, but I'll just add a little distilled water later. All 
Alrighty, so up next on this thing, got to replace the alternator. Battery light came on while I was driving the other day, and then a little bit later the van shut off. Threw a jump pack on her to get her to a place to work on. Got the old alternator out. Gonna go get a new one and uh, swap them. Just for the heck of it, I called two garages to see what they would charge for this. And one quoted me $550 and the other was $600. So I paid $125 for this. And I'm going to do a couple other things while I'm at it. First of which, while I'm in here, I'm going to replace the fuel filter on the engine, which is under this cap right here. take the air and take off got the doghouse taken off and right back This fell off and it's also very corroded on the inside. So let's see if we can fix this. So now we're going to test each light. Left turn signal is good. All right, we'll try brake lights next. When I hit the brake, we can test the trailer brakes and the brake lights. Brake lights are on. Let's see here. Oh, I see. Okay, so brake lights just 
Lights at both turn signals. I do wonder why the trailer brakes aren't lighting up. Let me try turning on the brake controller. Alright, the brake controller is on full power. There we go. See? Trailer brakes working. Alright, this is good. We're gonna check the ground too while we're at it. You shouldn't do this, but I couldn't find my little alligator clippies. But I got the uh, test light plugged into, um, you know, positive in here. And so, yeah, we got a good ground. All right, this four pin is shot. So, I got a new one here. like that it's been uh, about a week and a half and the bumper is ready you can stand it up for you <laughs> my white my powder's all it's over. all good <laughs> yeah that's sweet it came out real nice all right bumpers all loaded up looks great shout out to allegheny metal finishing they did some awesome powder coating uh, very affordable, very cool guys, and it looks great. So yeah, let's uh, get home and put this thing on. 
All right, so I ended up painting these last night and uh, they look all right. Um, I didn't bother masking the silver part of the aluminum because I think I can just hit it, these parts with the wire wheel and get that brushed aluminum look back. That's nice. Here's the real test. Good to go. All right, got four new tires here, so let's put these on the rims I just worked on. Should be good. Oh, look at that, the truck put them on for me. Huh. Look, balanced and everything. Next day here, I took this thing to get an alignment last night, so it got one. Uh, pretty much just the front driver's side needed adjusted, but yeah, it's riding really well, and uh, all that's left is to put the center caps on. <laughs> all right, here's the center caps. A few of them pieced out on us, so I ordered some new ones. We're gonna pop these in, JB weld them, and throw them on the van. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off this video. Uh, I've been spending a ton of time on this thing, so kind of wanting to work on something else. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay sketchy.